हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम हॉरिस एंड यू आर वाचिंग पॉसिबल नाउ सो गाइस विद फोर्टनाइट चैप्टर सिक्स अपडेट रनिंग द गेम एट अ प्लेबल फ्रेम रेट हैज बिकम नोटिसबली हार्डर स्पेशली फॉर लो एंड पीसी गेमर्स बट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू अबाउट दैट हाउ यू कैन गेट द एब्सोलूट ultimate fps boost in your game by applying these simple settings in your pc so guys this video is going to be really interesting just watch the video till the end and if you're new on this channel kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys before starting the video let me introduce you the best tool for fixing ping and input lag issues in your games gira poster it's simple and easy to use you can try it out with a 3 this free trial all you need to do is add your game click once and you are good to go check out the link in the description to get started so guys first of all i talk about the basic optimization so uh, for this you need to open your epic games launcher and uh, go to library find fortnite and click on three dots and go to the manage option now here we need to apply some commands you can find the command in my description so check my description and uh, simply use this command and i honestly don't know exactly what is do but i use them on my main pc and i haven't noticed any negative effects so why not additionally i enable the pre download stream assets uh, in the options menu to reduce stutter and freezing and like kind of a issue in my game and in the end i also verified my game files in the manage option and this usually doesn't install anything new but can fix stability issues in your game so guys after that now talk about some uh, in game settings adjustments so once you in the game uh, i set everything to the lowest possible settings like my resolution uh, is set to uh, 1080p down scale 3d resolution to 60% view distance set view distance and meshes set to low rendering mode is set to uh, like performance mode or dx12 you can choose and uh, upscaling and nvidia reflex set to disabled and uh, but if you have a dedicated gpu set it on plus boost uh, option and uh, now guys talk about the more technical optimization so for deeper system tweaks i perform these following settings uh, so you need to disable the high precision event timer in the device manager and uh, the next thing you need to clear some temporary and uh, uh, bad faults in your pc so what you're going to do is Uh, for this you need to open your run dialog box uh, press window key plus r and here you need to use some command like prefetch p r e f e t c h uh, and press ok click to continue control a select all and delete all, all of these bad files in your pc and you can use a second command like a percentage temp t e m p again percentage uh, it's a second command um, press enter and control a select all and delete uh, delete these files all also and also you can uh, and in the end you can delete these files uh, from the recycle bin and uh, next thing guys you need to the optimize power settings so set processor power management to 100% and disabled link state power management and uh, adjusted windows performance settings so prioritize best performance for programs instead of the background services and uh, talk about the manage windows updates so either keeping it updated or pausing for 5 weeks to prevent the interruptions uh, into your game and uh, you can also use the process lasso set cpu priority to high disable cpu throttling and optimize the power profiles and also uh, you can free up your cpu space from the task manager open the task manager and check your cpu space and uh, close any program or file that takes your cpu memory while you play your game and the next thing guys you need to disable memory integrity for slight performance 
gains and uh, so guys uh, the final test is here now for the moment of truth uh, does it work surprisingly yes after all these tweaks i managed to get 180 fps instead of 176 fps and that's at a higher resolution than before and it's not a night and day difference considering the hardware that's a win and was this worth my time absolutely not the best fps boost would be getting a job and buying a better pc but if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we'll meet in the next one until then peace out